So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to download the um, PlayStation 3 emulator, the RPC S3. Um, you're going to want to download that. Then you're going to want to download the system software, which you can get from the official PlayStation Store. If you're using Google Chrome, you're going to want to right click on it, go save link as. You're going to want to save it wherever. Um, and then this is going to happen probably. And you're just going to want to go keep. I mean, this is the official PlayStation website, so I don't think you need to worry about uh, it being a virus or something. So you're just going to want to do that. And then when you have both of them downloaded, um, you're going to want to make a file, put them in it. Um, this is the system files, it's about 200 megabytes. This is going to want to be in here. If it's in the same file as the um, emulator, it should auto detect it, but if it doesn't, you can just, um, it'll come up with a box and you just direct it to this file here. Then when you open the emulator, Um, this isn't going to be here initially. You're going to want to go to open and you're going to want to direct it to the path of the ROM of the game. So I'm not going to tell you how to get the ROM, but there's plenty of resources on how to get it. I own an official copy of the game, but I mean, the company that made the game doesn't exist anymore. If you want to throw THQ some money, then you can uh, buy it on the PlayStation or Xbox store. But this is an emulator guide, and I don't know how you would dump that into an image anyway. But uh, yeah, so you're going to want to just direct it to the um, file of the game, and it should just detect the rest. And then this should pop up, or well, the game might pop up, but if it does, just exit out of it because you're going to want to put in some settings first. Yeah, see, this might come up, you just want to exit out of this. You're going to want to go to change custom configuration. Um, and the most important thing is going to be the GPU and the advanced settings. So Vulkan is what it's on normally, and if you do have it on this normally, it might boot up. The problem that I had though is the game crashed after the first mission, like always. So what I had to do was I had to change it to OpenGL, and that's about it. You can put some settings in here. It's going to decrease performance, but uh, you know if you don't like. Uh, the screen tearing, stuff like that. You can put the VSync on, but I wouldn't bother. You can increase the resolution. Um, if you have a supercomputer, <laughs> my computer isn't good enough. If I increase this, it just, the FPS tanks. I mean, I'm lucky if I can get 35 FPS as it is. Um, that might be an OpenGL problem. I know, I think Vulkan runs a lot better, but I can't get it to work, like I said. Um, if you have an AMD card, you know, test it out, let me know. But this is just what works the best for me. Um, that's probably one of the major issues that people might have. Um, this is the driver wake up delay. It gives you a decent description of what it does if you hover over it. If you go above like a thousand, it's going to start drastically uh, reducing the performance of the game. But it's usually on one. Um, but I'd put it up to about six, I put it up to about 800 and I get like minimal crashes, maybe like three crashes in the whole run of the game I got. Um, if I have it on 600 or less than that, I get just like crashes every 10 minutes. Uh, so this is another important setting here. These have to do with frame rate. You can boost the frame rate, but um, either my computer or just because I'm using the OpenGL renderer, I can't get it above like 35 FPS, like I said, but if you uh, want to test this out, then you know, by all means, go ahead. This increases the speed of the game, um, which might be useful. The game seems to run like about 10 to 20% faster on the emulator than on the console in general, uh, plus some other things that seem to calculate a bit faster. But yeah, I mean, feel free to play around with that. These, these settings don't really matter that much. Um, but the other probably major thing aside from using OpenGL that people are going to run into issues with are uh, um, when you start the game, it kind of gets stuck in the loading screen, but it's not actually stuck. It's just more like a visual issue. But I'll just show you how to get past it. So run 
with custom configurations. I think this does this automatically, but the first time you do this, I think it's also going to install the game or it might just be this. It does it every time, but I don't know if it's an issue with how I'm running the game, but it doesn't take that long. It might take longer the first time, so it might take like 10, 15 minutes. If it gets stuck for an extended period of time on like the last um, part of the installing there, you can just exit out of the ROM after a certain amount of time if it's not doing anything, and then you just do it again, it should work. Uh, you can also try clearing the um, catch here. This is the catch for this game specifically, like that number there. You can clear this out and then try it again. So once your game boots in, you're going to get a bit of a black screen for a little while, but it's still away. So don't worry about it. So the title is going to pop up for a second. And these are going to play. And then you're going to get this screen and you're going to think your game is broken and you can't play it. But um, this is just a visual issue. So if you select it's one of the buttons here, once it's finished loading, Yeah, see, once it's finished loading, you can push one of these buttons and you hear the menu music. At least you should hopefully hear it on the recording. But you're going to hear that and you can do this. So that's the menu, but you can't see the menu. Um, so I've just randomly moved it around there, so I don't know where it is, but it starts on like campaign and then when you click on that there'll be new game and then if you go down it'll be load game so you can sort of figure out what you got to do but once you've loaded or started a new game um, you'll see the game so see if I can figure that out here that's interesting So when you get past that, it'll be here, usually, and you'll have to do this blind, but it's actually good that it's showing it. So once you've pushed uh, select or start on the controller, which you should see an overlay for, um, then you're gonna wanna use A or X, depending on if you're using an Xbox or PlayStation controller. I'm gonna go uh, single player, and it's gonna be a new game. You can do that. Then you go up, continue. I don't want to do that, but that'll lead you into a game. Um, if you want to load a game you already have going on, you click this. Top one's going to be your auto save, which is fine usually. Do that. You go up, and you do that. So that's how you play the game. So OpenGL might fix some issues for some people. Um, the um, that other setting might stop the game from crashing as much and then this is just how to get into the game so even if you use Vulcan this is still an issue um, so hopefully that helps up some people and uh, we'll be doing a speed run of this game soon so if you're interested in that then um, check out my channel at some point in the future I guess anyway see ya